This evening was a show of support for hundreds of thousands of DACA recipients across the country who could soon lose the right to legally work and go to school after the Trump administration announced plans to end the Obama era program. On the streets of Columbus, I lose the privilege to drive. People are sharing their thoughts. The privilege to feel safe. And speaking out. The privilege to work and go to school. For those who have the most to lose. I'm a veteran, so I fought for people to come here and work freely. DACA is welcoming our neighbors. Make sure we spell the words right. DACA is who we are. DACA is ended. That decision announced by Attorney General Jeff Sessions. Seeing everyone. It, it, it came to my mind. It, it is it's happening. On the steps of City Hall in Columbus, signs of support. It's a wonderful feeling to know that there are people who, who care about us. A rally for DACA recipients who have a lot to lose. This is what I depend on, this work permit, this ability to drive. They can't help but think about everything that DACA has meant to them. It allowed me to have a job. It allowed me to go to school. It was an opportunity to be seen. It made me come out of the shadows and now I feel like it's coming back again. No new DACA applications will be accepted going forward. Work permits can be renewed if they expire before March 5th of next year. Unfortunately, I'm one of the DACA recipients that will not be able to renew. For these three DACA recipients, today's decision in Washington impacts a future they once saw as certain. We depended on this to fulfill our dreams and now it's taken away and I don't think that's right. It's like having a gift but barely opening it. At tonight's rally, attendees signed these pre-addressed letters to Indiana's legislative representatives asking for a bill to protect DACA recipients. It will be up to Congress to act and they'll have to do it soon. Under President Trump's plan, DACA ends in six months. Reporting from Columbus, Graham Hunter, RTV6.